And I'm Mark. And for our ECE 4760 final project, we built a bike sonar that's rear facing um, and gives the main feedback as sound localization. So, so it, ma it maps where the stuff is behind you. Right. Correct. So I, the idea behind this project was that um, I like to ride bikes a lot and I just got this brand new bike this semester. So uh, one of the biggest problems I had was looking behind me while I was riding a bike and also not trying to crash into things ahead of me. So the biggest problem is that in Ithaca, it's a lot of the roads are very narrow, so there's not that many bike paths, so cars are very close to the bikes. Okay. Um, and the problem is that if you want to merge left, uh, there's it's very hard to see if there's a car behind you unless you actually look. Okay, so this so this this uh, scans back and forth. Right. There's a display up on the on the handlebars. Yes. Which is. So this is a visual display for what the sonar is sensing behind you. Um, we have the system powered by a five volt battery pack. Mm -hmm. And the servo and ultrasonic sensor are connected to this pick. Uh, so you can see we have a, a couple wires running down the length of the bike. And then the servo and ultrasonic mounted in the rear. We also have radio communication between our two standalone systems, so between the system that sits on the bike and the system that's mounted on the helmet. Uh, the radios communicate the angle of the servo and the distance of the object it senses, and then the pick on the helmet produces the sound local localization, so the audio feedback. And so you have a pair of earbuds yeah, that, you, yeah, that you put in. And and then the so the phase of the sound tells you where the 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 the, the sounds the where the right sonar is pointing. Correct. And the intensity tells you how close it is. Correct. So the further you are, the quieter it will be. If the sensor doesn't sense anything, there are no things in range, then you will not hear any audio feedback. And the closer you are, the louder it will be. Um, so when you actually, it's hard to show on video, but when you actually wear this, it sounds like. If it sees an object, um, it sounds just like a short, tiny ping, and it, the ping actually sounds like it's coming from behind you to the left or behind you to the right. So you know that if there's a car behind you to the left or behind you to the right, okay, um, or directly to the left and directly to the right, or just and, straight behind. And I've you. tried it; it's a good illusion. It's a, right. it's a very, it's very convincing. Okay, um, thank you. And on top of that, I guess is oh, I mean, <laughs> all right. Just let me reset it really quickly. Is that uh, there, in case you're confused, uh, and the pings don't sound, I guess, I don't know, in case you want to double check, there's actually this radar display. Right. So the color differences, so red is really close to you, green is really far away from you, and this outer band right here is about 3.6 meters. So okay. if an object is greater than like 3.6 meters away from you, then it says you're good to go. Okay, and it's picking me up on that side. That's yeah. why it's red there, as I'm standing right behind the bike. Okay. Thank you.